Hi readers, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are doing good. So how has been the performance you know, last week? You know, I hope you are watching my community tab and I have been regularly posting this. So last week we have done uh, fairly decent profits and uh, there was one loss making day as well. But uh, you know, keep watching this tab. You will get to see the trades and whatever I want to communicate with you. You can have a look at this every now and then. So I will ensure that I will be posting every day something on this. So let's get started with our analysis on Bank Nifty today. And then we will do Nifty analysis. Also, we will look at the stocks which we can pick for coming weeks to carry as a um, investment. So let's go to tradingview.com and uh, let's select the monthly time frame. Let me delete all of this. Okay. So as you can see guys, the market is in a resistance zone. Okay, so this was the previous high, which was about 37708. Now the market is almost nearing that. Don't be surprised if Monday market opens somewhere about this and drops back into this zone. And from there it can come back to the 20 period moving average. So there are two key moving averages which we use for analysis, which is 20 and 200. And understand this concept of you no know, space between the moving averages. Like if the price is way away from 20 period moving average and 20 is also way away from 200 period moving average, there is definitely going to be some kind of a correction which will happen. But this correction may come this month or may not come this month. It will take a little time as you go on the higher time frame. So if you understand this concept, it will become very easy for you to analyze any stock. See every stock, these two key moving averages acts as support and resistance. If the price is above this 20 and 200, then you can see that it always come to a zone where it can touch the 20 period moving average and from there it will start moving up so you can easily identify the market is trending upwards and whenever it has to break that level and the next support level is about 200 period moving average if even that breaks then you can see a huge drop so this is what happened during the corona time and after that market started recovering up and we also use for confirmation another indicator which is super trend 14 and 2. So plot these three things on any chart, you will be able to understand the trend of that particular stock. So on a weekly trend also, Bank Nifty is looking bullish, RSI is also at 62 and there is a candle which has formed, which is a red candle but there is a lot of buying which has come from this zone. So you can expect some kind of further upside on this, on a weekly time frame. Let's see on a daily time frame what is the story that the story is same on the daily time frame this was a candle which has shown a reversal and after that there is a green candle which has formed which has taken the high of this candle so i went high uh, no uh, after this broke and then we were able to get some profits from the market so that's how your analysis has to be and you have to consistently do this understand these concepts it's a very simple thing and you can apply this on any stock and you'll be able to see what kind of results you'll be getting. So let's uh, look at Nifty as well. Nifty on a daily time frame is also looking bullish, but only concern is that it has not taken the high of this candle. If anywhere it opens below this, then next support will be the super trend. And if the super trend breaks, then it can come down till this level 16651 which i suppose could not be the case let's see how it plays out and on a weekly time frame it is forming a narrow range candle for last week and uh, you know we have to check for the volumes if the volumes are really high on this then you can expect reversal if not 
it can open up here and it can take out the high of this candle and go further forward. You can see the distance between 20 and this and this. So there is a lot of space which has formed. So either the market is in two phases, either it is in contraction phase or it is an expansion phase. So this is an expansion phase right now. There will be a time when again it will form into a contraction phase. Contraction phase is a time where you have to invest and pick up the stocks which you want to buy maximum. This is a time when you have to get out of your uh, stocks, liquidate all of it and then wait for a right opportunity. Let's see this on a monthly time frame for Nifty. Nifty monthly chart looks very positive and go slightly higher. It can touch 18,000 also is what looks like as of now. So let's see how it plays out. Both the indexes are looking positive because I think other banks are also looking positive in this way. So let's see uh, if we can find out some more stocks which can give us an entry for our portfolio. So I'm using a charting software, which is a free software. Anybody can use it and you can create your own scans here or copy the scans which are already available on this site. So I have just taken a weekly super trend, which is 14.2 and I'm getting two stocks, which is National Aluminium Company and Canfin. Let's analyze these two stocks. So, national. Let let's put this on the same chart so that we don't get confused. National. So let me put it on the trading. Is it already there? Let me check. And aluminium and. Canfin homes. Okay, Canfin storm is already there. So let's analyze this first on a weekly time frame. What is the time frame we are using? We are using a weekly time frame for our analysis. So two moving averages, then I would need a super trend, which is already there. Okay, super trend has given you a nice entry. Your stop loss will be 537. Your entry at 624. Wait for a Monday candle. Let's see if it is a red candle. It can, it can come into this zone 600 zone where you can pick up the stock and always maintain the stop loss of 532. It has given a good breakout, but there is also a formation of double top for this. So you can expect some kind of fall from here, then it can breakout from there because this stock is in uptrend it has reversed its pattern this was the first low second low and now it is forming a new high and it can form a third high so if you have to look at the Elliott wave concepts wave one wave two and then wave three wave three is the longest so you can check for that as well so nothing you know if the kind of knowledge which you gain from all the studies what you learn you can apply all of it and once you get experienced with that you are able to you know, look at that from all the angles at once which will give you a benefit see the volume volume is also pretty high on these two handles let's see what it happens but it's a good pick so national aluminium is also going up and there is a crossover happening for 20 and 200 Okay, so it has given a super trend entry as well. And is there any previous high? It has already taken out the previous high. The target can be 115, 129, and 142. So it can go up to those levels. The first level, if it breaks this, the second level, then it's third level. So, you know, don't expect this to go straight up. It can, you know, touch this, 
halt for some time and then go up then halt for some time and then go up so nothing will happen in one straight line market always expect that so uh, you know i wouldn't personally advise you to invest on this stock particularly you can definitely do it in canfin uh, but both both the sec- both these are like uh, you know nationalized government uh, company so not much of an interesting thing for me so i'll wait for some private sector stock to come in there because i can see there will be an upside will be pretty pretty fast on those private sector stocks so let's see this is how you can catch your weekly trades and invest some amount and put the stop loss basis the super trend and then you can always exit with the rule and if there is any uh you no know, loss also you have to bear that because nothing is 100% and you you'll always have to play with your rules so there are total 5000 stocks so you don't have to worry about it if one stock gives you loss another stock will cover it up for you but your uh, you know gains have to be bigger and losses have to be small so let's see what is uh, you know i have couple of stocks in here let me just scroll to all of them with the same logic understand if anything is giving a good entry and what is the status of that do you small finance as retraced see the kind of buying which has come on this i am expecting this to if it takes the high of this candle the green candle which is also a change over candle if it takes the high of this candle you can definitely hold on to this trade Kotak is up. And this can further go up. Reliance is also up, but this still can go up because the volume is not that heavy. So don't expect it to reverse right now. SBI major resistance at this level. Indusind Bank consolidating, consolidating, but there can be one big move which can tuck. that's the 1270 bar so wait watch out you can have an entry here put your stop loss at 919 and wait for it icic banks is continuously in uptrend i don't see any resistance for it right now it can make a new high as well from here HDFC has a resistance at this level 1630 always look at the left and see where it has reached and are there any wicks that side so that will act as your resistance HDFC is in a zone where it's it is in the resistance zone but see if the volume comes in on monday and it breaks this level it can go and form a new high this is a pretty decent stop Bank. Okay, we have analyzed Axis Bank is also in uptrend. Avils, which we have taken a couple of days back, uh, this is also in good uptrend, still moving up further. Uh, we have taken an entry somewhere around eleven hundred. R three is uh, in uptrend, six eighty six. Techm. These three stocks, uh, stocks I have taken. Havels, Bharati, and Tech. Uh, Techm is consolidating. Let's see if it breaks, then we will exit out of this trade. Escorts giving you a very nice entry, guys. The, these also have picked up. You can pick up this as well because it's a good formation of a uh, red bar being ignored in this. This is called rally base. and then it can form another rally here because these two are base candles icitc no stopping it is still going up uh still lot of buyers for it good volume let's see if it sustains there or we can expect some correction but i have liquidated half of my uh holdings here lic is in downtrend so don't look at it Our the industries is also in a downtrend. From here, it can come back. It it's not downtrend, but into retracement mode. Trend is in a good uptrend. 
okay so it is do not take it here wait for a replacement in petro not advised but if this red candle high is taken out then you can enter oof aregama is breaking all the records so avoid this stock too far run pips is also too far away from your never buy too far away from your 20 period moving average always think of selling titan is also too far but there can be a further upside because the volume on this bar is pretty low and fin national mb have already checked so that's it guys that's it for this week those are the stocks which we have analyzed i hope you have enjoyed this video please do subscribe and share it with your friends who are more interested to learn about markets and this is your channel where you can learn things for free so have a great day and uh, looking forward for your comments and uh, likes thank you so much